going on guys let's look at this problem right here here the question is asking compute the bias point of the circuits here what we have to do is we have to find out the ic current collector current and also we have to find out the collector emitter voltage these are the two things required ic and vce now before we go ahead and solve this problem there are a few things we have to consider okay let's see what are those here you can see this q1 is directly connected to q2 it means the emitter current going through here be base collect collector base emitter okay collector base emitter so the emitter current one is equal to the collector current two because the same current going through this one right so we can first say that ie1 is equal to ic2 and the uh, emitter current for both of them is going to be almost equal so we can directly say ie1 is equal to ie2 and also collector current for both of them is going to be almost equal so ic1 also equal to ic2 these are the thing, things we had to know before this solve this problem now let's go ahead and continue so since we are interested in finding out ic and vce let's go ahead and look at this here we are going to have two ba base emitter current base emit actually base emitter voltage is going to be two times because since we have two two vbe so if we apply this formula vcc minus ibrb rb is base resistant that's 100 k ohm i directly put it right here base times 100 k 100 times 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 2 vbe okay from this one we can solve for base uh, we can solve for ib car actually here we have instead of we can solve for ic because that's what we need ib is not necessary instead of ib we can replace that one with ic over beta beta is 100 so vcc minus ic1 over beta times 100 times 10 to the power of 3 and also instead of vbe there's a formula for vbe vbe is equal to vt ln of ic over is okay so we can plug that equation instead of this vbe so this is going to be vt ln ic over ic1 let's put ic1 over i here ic1 is equal to ic2 ic1 over is now vt is a constant value vt there's a constant value for vt that is 26 times 10 to the power of minus 3 okay so we know vcc that's 2.5 we know we have to find out ic1 beta is 100 and uh, vt is a constant value that is 26 times 10 to the power of minus 3 is is provided right here that's 6 times 10 to the power of minus 16. now let's go ahead and plug all the values so this is going to be 2.5 minus ic1 over 100 times 100 times 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 2 times vt is 26 times 10 to the power of minus 3 ln of ic1 over is that is 6 times 10 to the power of minus 16 ampere 6 times 10 to the power of minus 16 okay from this one we can solve for solve for IC, ic1 and ic if we solve for ic1 that's also equal to ic2 that's equal to 1.035 milliampere this is the first answer like we had to find out ic1 uh, ic basically since we have two we had to find out ic1 ic2 since both are equal this is our solution for the first part now we had to find out what is vce is vce also going to be same for both of them because collector emitter current are equal so the vce also will be equal okay now let's go ahead and write the formula for that vce formula to calculate vce the formula is vcc minus ic times rc 
RC is the resistance here, that's 1 kilo ohm, 1 times 10 to the power of 3 minus VCE2. Okay, <clears throat> now from this one, um, hmm. we have, okay, before we go for this, we can use another formula. That would be much easier because we don't know what is VCE2. So to solve this one, we have to find that one out first. <coughs> so here, actually VBE2, that should be VBE2. So VBE1, VBE1 is equal to VBE2 is equal to Vt ln of IC1 over IS 26 millivolt that's Vt ln of 1.035 milliampere 35 milliampere divided by 6 times 10 to the power of minus 60, 16 so if you solve for this one, we have IC1 and also we have IS, we have VT. If you solve for this one, you will get 733 millivolt. Okay, that's it for this one. This is VBE1. Now, we have calculated VBE1. VBE1 also equal to VBE2. So now we can calculate VCE. Because to calculate VCE, this is the formula. VCE is equal to VCC minus IC times RC. RC is 1K ohm. So 1 times 10 to the power of 3 minus VBE2. Okay. So from this one, we can calculate for VC. VCC is 2.5. IC we calculated that is. 1.30 1.035 times 1 times 10 to the power of 3 and this is milli so milli and kilo cancels so I can just avoid this 10 to the power of 3 actually I can get rid of all these things because milli and kilo cancels so we don't have to write this 1 times 10 to the power of 3 now VBE2 we just calculated 733 milli voltage and from this one, if you compute this one, you will end up with 732 millivoltage, approximately 733 millivoltage. Since uh, VCE, VC1E1, VCE2E2, both of them are same. So we can write VCE is equal to 733 millivoltage. And that's the final answer. And uh, that's it. <coughs> we have to calculate IC and VCE, and we have calculated both of them. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And if you are trying to learn electronics, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watch that too. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.